In the last video, we witnessed a girl disagree with an evil cult. Her punishment was they took everything from her, her phone, her money, her house, and threw her out of the streets with nothing. We want to help her out. We just don't know where she is or how to find her. Danny, I, I got a bunch of supplies and we got to make a detective board. This is the missing cult girl. If we look back at the footage, she was like a skateboarder, right? She used to what? Surf She surfed? Yes. Hang it up, Danny. Yo. Oh. Yes! Let's go find some surfers! Let's go! It actually didn't take us very long at all to find a surfer who knew this girl. The guy said that we could interview him as long as he could remain anonymous. She worked at the grocery store that I'd shop at on a weekly basis. This is cute, blonde surfer girl. Yeah, she's a cashier, and every time I check out, we make conversation, this and that. But yeah, years had gone by, and then I saw him. there's people posting stories about a missing girl. And I was like, what the heck? We started messaging back and forth, and she invited me to come onto the farm. But through the messaging, I, you know, she seemed like a completely different person. Just sounded like a robot, like, total lack of personality, which, which wasn't her. She was anything but that when I had known her before. Yeah, I don't have her phone number. Um, the way I reached out to her was on Instagram, and it seems like her account is, is deactivated. So, yeah, I have no idea. With still no way to contact her, it looked like we had made no progress. Until the guy we interviewed yesterday just said he saw this girl in real life. Yeah, I was just spending the, the morning at the beach in Encinitas, and I see this girl like digging through the trash, and she kind of looked, you know, like she was homeless. She, the clothes she was wearing were kind of like not the cleanest; they were dirty, a little ragged. So then I do a double take. I was like, wait, no way, this is this is her. This is a bet. I did a double take, and I'm like, yeah, that's. That's her. She's wearing the clothing um, that you would see the women wear at the Yellow Deli. I kind of kept an eye on her. So this guy was wearing a hat, sunglasses. I see them get into the car. So I whip out my phone and then start filming, taking photos, got the license plate number. Okay. We might actually have a way to actually find this girl now, but we don't really have a plan for what to do if we find her. I mean, I literally have no money. Before the series started, I put everything I owned in this briefcase and made a giant scavenger hunt. My subscribers are still trying to find it. Yeah. But then I realized that I live in Los Angeles, the place where YouTubers will just give you lots of money. And all you have to do is just complete a really crazy challenge. Ah! Huh. Congratulations, Spider-Man. Here's your thousand dollars. Thank you. So I'm a thousand there now. Let's go. Yeah. I'm going to give this money to a girl that just escaped the cult. What? <laughs> no, like for real. Like I actually am. This is sick. Really? Okay. Now it's time to find this girl. We know the license plate number of the car she jumped into. So maybe if we can find out whoever this guy is, he can help lead us to her. But the only problem is it's impossible for someone like me to look up someone's address via their license plate because I, I guess of like stalkers or something. So uh, there's lots of websites that claim they can do this, but uh, it turns out they're all scams. And I know this because I got scammed. Yeah, it was sad. But then Danny found out some new information. I got some new you said that you found some new information and I told you not to tell me until we had the yeah. cameras out. So, so the cameras are out. What's the uh, information? Okay, so I was telling my buddy that this, and he's like, I have a connection in the DMV and he'll do me a solid. He made up this whole story about like his motorcycle blew up and like th the only person that can fix it, the guy drew, drew, drove off and I got his license plate. The guy's name is And we got his address, Palm Springs, California. So oh, we're gonna do the stupidest thing in the world. We're just gonna go in there, just knock on the door. We're just gonna break in her house. No, we're gonna knock on the door we're and we're, gonna, we're just gonna save her. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna try to save her, but we want to see if By she's still breaking her house. <laughs> we're winging it right now. It's really sketchy. I got butterflies in my stomach. Let's go. Oh my God. No one answered the door, but this sign, beware of priest, made me think that we are in fact in the right spot. But we're not giving up. We're never giving up. We're kind of just stalling right now. 
Just giving it a little bit of time before we show back up to their house again. We just need to wait a little bit longer and then we can- Take two. Take two, baby. Uh, Nah, you guys got the wrong home. We just wanted to talk to her, that was it. Hey, there's no event here. Where do you think she lives? Here. So we probably have the wrong address then. I know you have the wrong address. Yeah. It's good you guys are trying to help her. Well, we're starting. I hope you guys have a great- No, no problem. Yeah. There was nothing left for me to do at this point, except for post the video. If any of you guys have ever seen this girl before, DM me on Instagram. So the video's been up for literally like- 10 minutes and I already got a direct message. The girl that got kicked out of the cult sometimes hangs out at Smitty's downtown. I don't remember her name, but she's still homeless. He said I'm at the bar that she normally goes to. Should I go there right now? Should I meet him at the bar? What's up? I saw her at the bar and she'd been kicked out. She was homeless and she was uh, trying to get back in the cult. But mm. she is in Colorado now because they couldn't stop her from going back to the cult. So they had to send her back to her mom's house. Um, if her family wants to reach out to you, you know, I'll get you in touch. But yeah. I know it's a sensitive subject with her family. So at least this girl's not homeless anymore and she seems to be in a decent living situation, but her parents have my contact information now. And honestly, we would still really like to help in any way if we can use my platform somehow or any resources we can give you guys to help her get back on her feet it just sucks that this cult literally just stole everything from her like it feels like all i can really do now at this point is just go out on the streets and just yell for this cult to give this girl her money back and maybe people will see me and also get inspired to join me and it'll be like a giant protest or something uh, yeah um hmm yeah, it might be worth a shot. We're out here protesting the cult. Right now, it's just me and Lydia, and we're going to see if we can recruit some more people. Yeah, protesting! Give this girl her money back! Yeah! What are you guys doing? Oh, we're, we're doing a protest. We're trying to get this girl her money back that the cult stole from her. Whoa, can I join? Yeah, yeah, come join, come join. Okay, we got another person. Yeah! Yes! Oh, can I join? Yeah, come on, dude, yeah! Can I join? Yeah, dude, come on, come on. Guys, at this rate, we're gonna have like a thousand people behind us. A thousand? No way. 12 trap sucks! Oh. Yes! Give her money back! Yeah. Suck my dick. We did get a thousand people behind us. Yeah. Thanks for coming to protest. That's the video. Subscribe to my Patreon. Now that I'm demonetized, this is a fully Patreon-funded channel, so make sure to subscribe. Thanks for everyone that is subscribed. Shout out to Danny Burke. Shout out to me, shout out to Lydia, shout out to the anonymous people that want to tag you, but I can't tag them because they want to remain anonymous. Thanks for the shout out, Ben.